So today's lesson is an example of a moment of a force about a point using cross product. So you, you see we have this force F, which is the three-dimensional force, and we want to find the moment of this force about point P. So the objective is to find moment of the force about point P, and this is a vector. So actually I'm going to find this moment for you vectorially, and then I'll show you how you can find the magnitude of this moment and how we can use this magnitude to find something else. Okay, so uh, based on the definition of moment of a point, uh, of a force about a point in, in a vector sense, uh, that would be equal to position vector R cross F. Remember the order in cross product is important, so it's always the position vector R cross F. Uh, so what do we mean by position vector r? Position vector r is defined as the vector that extends from the point where you want to take the moment about to anywhere along the line of action of force f. And in this case, we only have the coordinates of one point along the line of action. So we can, we have only, the only choice we have basically is the position vector from, a, uh, from p to a. So that would be rpa. So what is this RPA? As you could see, uh, this position vector is uh, 2i minus 3j. So you have to go 2 meters in the positive x direction and 3 meters in negative y direction. So let's go ahead and find the cross product, um, which is simply uh, putting the first uh, position vector r, which is 2i minus 3j, and then cross it with the force vector F, which is minus 3i, plus 2j, plus 5k in kilonewtons. So without, you know, looking at the detail of the cross product, remember you just take the 2i and cross it with 3i, 2j, and 5k, and then similarly, you do that with the second term. So you know how to do the cross product. I'll just give you the outcome right now. So this moment about P, which is a cross product of R and F, happens to be minus 15 i after you do the simplification and everything minus 15 that would be kilonewton meters minus 10 j and minus 5 k so let me put the units here too for you so the unit is kilonewton meters so just to give you an idea uh, this 15 here is moment actually about x-axis is the rotation that this force creates about x-axis in the negative sense uh, meaning you know based on the right hand rule so this 10 also 10 kilonewton meters is the moment this force creates about the y-axis and so on also in the negative sense and 5 also 5 kilonewton meters moment about z-axis rotation about z-axis now what I want to do I want to go ahead and now find the magnitude of this moment remember this moment right right now the moment minus 15 i minus 10 j minus 5 k is in the Cartesian form i j k so what would be the magnitude of this moment the magnitude Magnitude would be square root of sum of the component squared. So minus 15 is squared. Actually, it doesn't matter if you put minus 15 or 15. When you square it, you're going to get positive anyways. So maybe you can even skip that and don't put the negative in there. But anyways, this moment happens to be the magnitude of the moment is 18.7 roughly kilonewton meters. Now, also I can go ahead and find the magnitude of the force. Remember, the force was a negative 3i, a positive 2j, and plus 5k in kilonewtons. So again, square root of sum of the components is squared. A negative 3 squared, a positive 2 squared, and finally a positive 5 squared. So this magnitude becomes about 6.164 kilonewtons. Now look. Going back to the la uh, previous page, remember the definition of the moment is simply f times d. Not, I'm not talking about the uh, vector definition, which is r cross f. So what does that mean? So remember, f times d means that if you have the line of action of the force, so this force is acting in that direction, that d would be the shortest distance from this point to the line of action of the force. So let's say if I want to find that distance t, how do I find that distance t? That should be very easy because remember moment is defined as f times t. Therefore, if you want d 
all you have to do to take the moment and divide it by F. So our moment is, magnitude of the moment is 18.7 kilonewton meters, and the magnitude of the force is 6.164 kilonewtons, and here we go. That distance, when you divide, is about 3.03 .03 meters. So you see, we were able, after we found the, uh, the vector, uh, the moment vector in the Cartesian form, and then we found the magnitude, we found the magnitude of the force, and therefore we could find that shortest distance. Here, yeah, so that shortest distance D now is three, about three meters, a little bit more than three meters.